what is good neo family it's ray j back with another video and in this one i'm going to be talking about the one and only neo stock and what you should be looking out for for the future of this company i'm also going to give you guys my price prediction and talk about why i'm still very bullish for the long-term future of neo why i believe this company is going to break all-time highs but for the short term i do think neo and the market are going to collectively drop for the next few days i do think that for tomorrow maybe for parts of the day after we're gonna have one last major dip before the market starts to rally to the upside right after the fomc meeting so i'm going to break down the fomc meeting for you guys i'm going to talk about what's going on with the news for neo what neo reported for the del deliveries data and how this may affect the market going forward and neo's share price now before i break this down before i do any technical analysis on neo and talk about what the share price may end up doing for tomorrow i do have to mention a couple of things real quick the first thing is i'm not a financial planner so please don't take this as financial advice and also if you guys can please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this it not only benefits me it benefits the entire neo community as a whole and the last things if you guys can please check out the weeble link down below and into the description if you sign up for weeble with the link down below and deposit any amount of money into the account whether it's one dollar or a hundred it's up to you you are guaranteed five free stocks each worth up to two thousand dollars you could always sell those five free stocks for a cash and use that cash to buy some neo shares for free this is a limited time offer that ends in two weeks so please check it out to get your free neo shares with that out of the way let's get on with the video so anyways looking at neo this thing was a little bit in the green doing a little bit better than i thought it would but as of right now i do think we're gonna have a bit of a drop for tomorrow and parts of wednesday too going into the fomc meeting then after that it is possible for the market to rally and still be very very bullish for the month of may so why do i think that let's go back for just a few seconds may 3rd through the 4th you can see it right here we have the fomc meeting this is the big meeting where the fed announces their monetary changes and what they're going to do with the rate hikes and you can see it right here the market is expecting a 50 basis point fed rate hike in may of 2022 so right now we are anticipating this and i find this very probable and very likely to happen because the market loves certainty once the certainty is confirmed once we get the confirmation that's when i think the market should start to rally so from how i see it right the fourth is when they make the big announcements this is when it's going to be confirmed the fourth of may if they announce a 50 basis point rate hike the market should rally they most likely will there's like a 99 percent chance they will a one percent chance they won't so be prepared for anything but i do think that's what's going to help the market rally now before we get to the fourth right we have tomorrow and then we have a little bit of time before they announce it and as we get closer i do expect a gradual downfall in the market and i do think neo is going to drop as a result of that we also have this news coming out too it's reported that neo deliveries alongside xbong and Li auto they all fell due to the lockdowns in shanghai and also because of supply chain constraints so looking at this right here neo's april deliveries declined 49.2 percent month over month for lee auto they're down about 62 percent and lee xbong is down about let me see 41.6 percent so we're seeing drops left and right all over the place due to what happened in china and i wish the best for everyone there i don't like seeing anyone suffer and when things like this go on it's something that's going to affect the entire ev market in my opinion i wouldn't be surprised if we actually saw a bit of a reaction to this right here now this this news did come out i think earlier today but we don't often get the reaction immediately it may come tomorrow and many big sources out there like barons too are talking about this how the virus hit china we're seeing these big declines if we look at neo's twitter page right this is where i break the numbers down for you guys neo delivered 5074 vehicles in april 2022 1200 es8s 1800 es6s and 1250 ec6s with only 693 et7s so altogether right you can see right here that they are a little bit down they have a chart right here which i can show you i know it's a little bit blurry i can't make this a lot clearer but i could still explain this to you in a very easy to understand way so they delivered 5074 vehicles in april right here uh, the light bars represent 2021 the dark ones represent 2022 each of these are the months so right here for the month of january where my cursor is you could see neo did much better in january 2022 than january 2021 a nice increase it looks very very strong for february these next two are for the month of february we could see in february neo had a slight increase in their sales for 
2022 compared to 2021. That's also a pretty good sign, but typically it's a slow month anyways due to Lunar New Year. But then right here by March, right, as we go to March for deliveries, they didn't have these big lockdowns. They killed it in March. I mean, I think back in 2021, they got around like 7,000 deliveries. Then they did almost 10,000 in the month of March 2022 compared to 2021. They did very well in March. Then April comes. These last two bars you see, this one's April 2021. The next one's April 2022. And you'll notice that the, the dark bar is lower than the light bar. That's an indicator that they did not too well for this month compared to where they were last year it's a decline by 49 percent and that's because of the fact that they did end up having these lockdowns that ended up affecting the company as a whole it ended up affecting the entire market as a whole there are also supply chain constraints because of the virus that was spreading and this is not necessarily bad news on news on Neo's side because Neo wasn't responsible for the lockdowns. Neo didn't do anything wrong that caused this to happen. It's not their fault. They're still growing. They're still doing very well. But as a result, the media could easily make this look really, really bad on them. And on top of that, we have a lot of other things coming out that could negatively affect the company. Now, we did see Neo kind of run to the upside because maybe it did a little bit better than some people expected. Maybe Wall Street expected it to be worse. But I do believe tomorrow the market's going to take a bit of a hit. And I believe it's going to act like a weight on Neo's shoulders, causing it to drop with the market. So my prediction is this. Before I give the prediction, though, let's let's quickly go over this. If we start rallying, right, we have resistance at $17.76, $18.18.53, and $19. Be on the lookout for those resistance levels if we do somehow manage to start running for some time. If we drop hard, right, the key support levels are $16.56, $15.68, actually $15.91, then $15.68, and $14.96. Be on the lookout for those numbers if we end up dropping. So what do I think is going to happen for tomorrow? Let me bring up the one-minute candles. Now, this thing does look kind of bullish. We got a nice push, and it is possible for us to continue rallying. But based off my analysis, I find that quite unlikely. I mean, I... I don't expect Neo to continue to rally like this going into tomorrow. I think we're going to have a slight red day. And I do think that we're going to actually drop with the market before we get that big bounce. So from how I see it, I think tomorrow Neo is going to actually push a little bit, get rejected. Maybe it's going to get rejected off 1776 and start dropping. Then we're going to try to hold 16.41 and we're actually going to hold it for some time, then get rejected. And then we're going to start dropping below that six, the low $16 range, trade sideways for some time. And it's possible we end up touching 15.91 or we go even lower to that, I don't know, that mid $15 range. We have a gap fill around there. We might fill our gap around 15.69. Then we get a nice bounce off of that and end up closing the day in that maybe mid $16 range to the 16 flat. It's possible for us to actually take a bit of a hit because of what's happening. And I expect the downside slash sideways action to continue until Wednesday. And once the rate hike is announced, I expect the market to rally. And I'm going to be very bullish for the month of May for NEO. Now, is it possible that this doesn't happen and we just keep rallying? Yes, but I find that quite unlikely based on how the market is performing. I mean, if you look at the SPY, right, the SPY was very red for the entire day. And we got one last push that barely kept us in the green. So it just goes to show that the market's not in the best of states as of right now. And I do expect a bit of a pullback before we get that nice bounce after the FOMC meeting. After the 4th of May, that's when I think things are going to get much better. So we just have to be patient and wait until then. Other than that, Neo is doing fine. The short term, there will be some you know roadblocks here and there. It is going to drop here and there. But for the long term, I'm still very bullish. I think this thing is going to run to the absolute moon as they start dominating their market, as they start expanding across the globe. And also remember, I'm pretty bullish for the month of May. I just think we have a, another like two more days of shakiness before we get the confirmation of the rate hike, and we should start to rally after that. So I'm still very bullish, but there will be some moments where I do think we're going to drop, and tomorrow is one of those days. So anyways, thank you. Have a great rest of the day. I want to thank you all for listening, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Neo to the moon, and peace out.